Morning, folks. I just want to say an absolute big thank you to each and every one of you that has subscribed to the YouTube channel. Um, it's been amazing to see the channel grow over the last few weeks since making the um, sound compression video and some of the, the cultist etc. guides. And I really hope most of you stick around. I try and, I try and release content at least once a week. Sometimes there's uh, content every few days. I do have a day job and uh, sometimes content is a little bit lacking and i don't want to put out a video just for the sake of putting out a video there are no views etc also if there are suggestions or something that i can help with or i can actually just refer you to another youtuber by all means um, put it in the comments and i'll see where i can try and help now yesterday i was doing one of my dailies which basically said extract from shoreline and i ran into another player now, the one thing I want to mention is this player was a level 49. I think I'm a level 50, so he's a level behind me. That means this man has, he's been playing this way. And the only reason he lost the fight was because of his weapon setup. And I honestly think he literally put himself at a disadvantage. So, I want to show you. He was running this Vapor Hunter. Vapor Hunter is a fantastic weapon. Uh, it's not the cheapest. Fire 760, and we know 760 at the moment is the meta. Whether it be 760 by 39, 760 by 51, or 760 by 54 R. So if we look at the filter and we see the weapon when not broken. Okay, let's do this. We got a Jaeger. I select weapons and it's there. A brand new one from Jaeger will set you back 48k. All right, ignore the broken ones on the market. Do not buy, and that's the first point I want to make. Do not buy broken weapons from the market. You know, so you might think, unless you are completely and utterly broke, this thing will do fine. No, your accuracy is going to go for shit. Your chances of jamming is much higher do not just buy a new weapon then if we look at the setup he was firing m80 he got off three shots on me and uh before he perished and the thing that i wanted to point out is this pso scope now i've never really liked the pso scope but you can use it and then he was using the eye cup and the big reason for using the eye cup is the ergonomics. So notice the ergonomics. 19, 14. So it gives you plus 5 ergo. And you're going to ask me, but what's the point? I want to equip this weapon. And I shot him with an MDR with the new uh, Vortex scope. And let's have a look at the difference. So we go to hideout, enter. And we take a little walk to the, to the shooting range. So this is the weapon that he has. And look at this. There's no zoom. There's basically elimination. And look at how messed up this eye cup makes it. So at a bit of a distance, he, let's say it here. If I was moving. He was having the hardest time tracking me because you can't see. Now I was using the MDR. And I had it at one power. Even while shooting the back target, I could see where this one is, and I could see where this one is. Whereas with this, once you've zoomed in, the eye cup is obscuring. You can't see where any of the other targets are. You can possibly see this middle target bleed on the left. And this is the point I want to make. So you're going to say, all right, but what is, what, what is his alternatives? You know, And for me... If you're on a budget, let's say the man is a little bit on the poor side, this is the site I would have run. I would have just grabbed myself a Burris, the 33,000 from Jaeger, and at level 49, he has to have max traders. You get max traders at level 42. So at level 49, he has to have max traders. So Burris, 33k. If you want to see what this one actually costs, this PSO, we can do a filter on it. Yeah, it's 15,000. So the Burris is maybe a little bit more. 
and it cost him the fight. And what did he lose? He lost his helmet, all his ammo, and one of these Strandhog, um, Strandhog car plate carriers. So the point I'm just trying to make with this video is don't put yourself at a disadvantage by using the cheapest or the shittiest equipment. Spend a little bit of extra rubles. In this game, making rubles is easy. Um, I'm The wipe is now three days away from two months. I'm at 148 million. And I've literally been doing my dailies every day and running a couple of scav runs to make money. The making money in this wipe is easy. You take something like water filters. Water filters are nicely going back up to nearly 40k. You can pick four or five of those up on one interchange run. Quick, quick, do that twice as a scav. It takes you 20 minutes. And um, you got 10, that's 400,000. That's without any other stuff. Um, I think it was day before yesterday, I ran interchange twice and got two fuel cans. You know, if you sell those in the market, that's an additional 160k each. Point I'm trying to make is it doesn't matter which map. If you know the map well, it's easy to make money. But when you go into a fight, use the best stuff that you can. He was using M80. M80 would wreck it. The TV110 is only a level 4. TV110 is only a level 4 rig. So he would wreck you. And um, he lost that fight because he couldn't track me. I won that fight because I could see him move, track him and shoot him. So don't put yourself at the disadvantage in a fight, guys. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Hope you found this a um, little bit uh, tidbit useful. And again, thank you. Thank you so, so much for everybody that's uh, subscribed and stay hangs around. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more content out soon. Take care. Cheers.